From the great words of Forrest Gump, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. I've never liked chocolate, but I'm better equipped to deal with the unpredictability of life and happy to be standing here sharing this victory with my friends. I had planned to give a brief overview of my past and of how I got to where I'm standing here today, but I decided that tonight I don't want to focus on the past because I'm ecstatic and happy about the present and now have hope for my future. I do want to mention that sexual abuse, especially incest, is a crime against the body and the soul. And for y'all to know this alone about me can help you understand the reason why I eventually ended up coming here to a friend's house. This is a new year and a new beginning. I have a new start in life by the grace of God. I am no longer a prisoner of fear, depression, or anxiety. Though I have bouts of insecurity as any other, I'm no longer afraid of my own shadow. I have confidence in my God-given talents and abilities, and I have overcome many challenges in my life, including 10 years of self-injury, suicidal thoughts and tendencies, isolation, and lack of boundaries. In the beginning at a friend's house, I had over 60 negative put-downs. I told myself every day for years that I now know are lies. I have replaced these with statements of truth and verses of truth. Psalm 139, 14 says, I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now I believe that I have worth and am deeply loved by the God of the universe. I don't need to perform perfectly or have everyone's approval. I can tell others what I am feeling because I know I have chosen safe people who will help me through the rough times. Thanks to the loving staff of a friend's house and the support of my advocate, Abby, I eat healthier, exercise, confront others when necessary, and more assertive, more confident, and have self-respect. I am no longer alone in a group of people, but participate actively and enjoy getting to know others. My family couldn't be here today, but I am closer to them than I ever was. I have had to learn to stand up for my siblings and maintain boundaries with my mom because of her manipulation and jealousy. At the same time, this has rendered change in her life because she has really tried hard to be different since I have been able to be honest with her about things. We could never be closer. I have a relationship with my brother and sister for the first time in my life, and though they are not perfect, and I know I can't live close to them, I am grateful to be able to talk with my family now and love them for who they are. Though I pray for their happiness and changes in their lives, I could never be happier for them and for the family I am able to be with here. I forgive my mother and my father, and if anything, this is what has set me free the most. I'm not saying that what they did was right, but forgiveness was the first step in facing the issues in my own life and not blaming my actions on what was done to me. Thank you to everyone at a friend's house and for all the work you have helped me with the past 16 months. Without each of you, my life wouldn't be the same. It has been a long and hard process, but every moment has been worth it to be in the place I stand today. For Chelsea, Keisha, Elizabeth, and Chantel, and any other that comes after me, I ask that no matter what struggles you have had in your lives, or struggles you have now, that you keep working and drawing closer to God, because it is possible to overcome the past, change your present condition, and influence those around you in a way you can never imagine. I know because the same has happened to me, and each of you have influenced and inspired me since, since I, I have been here. It has been a great privilege to be at a friend's house and a great honor to be graduating. Because of being here, I have better social skills, stronger relationships, better boundaries, and an even deeper relationship with God than before. The kindness everyone has shown me will never be forgotten, and I will carry all that I've learned to help me have a happy and fulfilled life and to share with others the joy inside me. I have so much joy now, I just can't keep it in. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you for all your love and support because my life will never be the same again.